The world's largest aerospace company, Boeing, introduced its 737 MAX series in August 2011. It's the fourth generation of the 737, a workhorse for the aviation industry since the late 1960s. Boeing's upgrade included more fuel-efficient engines and improved design was an answer to the A320 from European rival Airbus. The 737 MAX jets were also designed to handle like earlier models, so pilots would not need costly retraining. It quickly became a top seller for Boeing. More than 5,000 orders have been placed for them. The first MAX 8 went to Malaysia's Milando Airways in May 2017. Carriers around Asia, Europe, the Middle East and North America soon followed. By early 2019, about 350 MAX series jets were in service with nearly 30 carriers. But in October 2018, a Lion Air 737 MAX 8 crashed near Jakarta, killing all 189 people on board. The plane plunged into the Java Sea minutes after takeoff from the Indonesian capital. Less than five months later, another 737, MAX 8, operated by Ethiopian Airlines, crashed. That jet had also just taken off when the pilot urgently requested a return to Addis Ababa Airport. All 157 people on board died. After the second crash, many nations grounded 737 MAX jets. The last holdout was the United States, which followed suit after satellite data showed similarities in flight patterns of both doomed flights. Investigators and in Boeing are now combing through the wreckage, including black box flight data recorders, in a search for answers.